The gang leader was about to take possession of the woman before him, swiftly cutting her clothes apart. The woman screamed for help, and just then, a flash of light descended as Donnie, wielding a large cleaver, struck down the gang boss. Donnie's swordsmanship was astonishing, and he engaged in combat with the surrounding henchmen. One of them shot him, causing Donnie to be covered in blood, and he quickly escaped through the window. After escaping, Donnie arrived at a small mountain village, having lost his memory due to the bullet. However, he remembered agreeing to meet a woman named Yi at the Seven Saints Temple. Donnie, unfamiliar with the roads, gave some money to a man named Y to guide him. The village was impoverished and frequently bullied by nearby villages. On the way, they encountered outsiders demanding rice from Y, who refused and fought them. Amidst the brawl, memories flooded Donnie's mind. Suddenly, they were surrounded by bandits who threw axes and knives at them. Donnie quickly pulled Y away, then engaged the bandits with his sword. Donnie is highly skilled in martial arts and techniques. Those mere bandits who only know how to fight are no match for Donnie's blade. It's practically a massacre. Donnie becomes more and more fearless as the fight goes on, the smell of blood driving him crazier. He leaps into the lake, engaging in a fierce battle with the bandits. Donnie is like a god of death, only knowing to keep swinging his blade. When he finally regains consciousness, all the bandits around him have fallen into the lake, turning it into a river of blood. Y was astonished by Donnie's ferocity. Y quickly brought Donnie to the Seven Saints Temple, now a dilapidated ruin. Donnie, surrounded by dust, reminisced. He had come here to find his childhood sweetheart, Yi. A woman arrived at the temple, and although Y greeted her, she brandished a sickle, frightening him. She retreated into a nearby hut. Donnie and Y conversed, with Donnie explaining his amnesia and the three things he remembered, being a soldier, getting shot, and waiting for a woman. When asked about the woman's characteristics, Donnie described her as kind and pure. That night, Donnie dreamed of the previous events. Startled by a noise, he instinctively threw his knife, only to realize it was Y entering silently. Donnie apologized and Y expressed a desire for Donnie to teach him swordsmanship, preferably a quick method. Donnie explained the three superior swordsmanship techniques, but Y was uninterested in theory. Donnie gave him a knife and instructed him to chop wood. The next day, the ruthless Seven Wolves gang attacked seeking revenge for their leader. Donnie fought them in the temple, his punches fierce and unstoppable. He kicked one down and slammed another onto a table. Then, a man with chained hands attacked, their fists colliding, and the force of the chain pushed Donnie back. This man was the fifth of the Seven Wolves gang, also a skilled fighter. He charged at Donnie with ferocious power, shattering a table with a single punch. Donnie, knowing he couldn't withstand the attack, could only dodge, but still took a hit. The man relentlessly pursued, smashing through a wall with another punch. Donnie grabbed a nearby chair to defend himself, but it was quickly destroyed, and he was hit, spitting blood. Using the chair legs as makeshift weapons, Donnie fought back against the chained man, rendering him defenseless with a swift series of strikes before disarming him. However, the man unexpectedly hurled the chain at Donnie, severely injuring him. Intent on killing Donnie, the man tried to strangle him with the chain around his neck. Donnie managed to break free, and his cleaver flew out from behind him, ending the man's life, but Donnie also collapsed. Y arrived and carried him to seek help from the woman nearby, who was visibly frightened, clutching her sickle tightly. But when she saw Donnie, she dropped the sickle. It turned out the woman was Donnie's beloved Yi. Yi tenderly cared for Donnie, who, upon waking, saw Yi in the villagers but failed to recognize her due to his amnesia. That night, after the villagers dispersed, only Donnie and Yi remained. Faced with his former lover, Donnie was at a loss. He asked Yi if they were married, and she nodded, reaching for his hand, but Donnie pulled away, leaving Yi angry as she walked away. Outside, in the pouring rain, Donnie chased after her, apologizing. Yi had searched tirelessly for Donnie for four years, only to face this outcome. Donnie embraced Yi and kissed her passionately, and they spent the night together in the small cabin. During the day, the Seven Wolves gang arrived in the village with the gang boss wielding a large cleaver, emanating a menacing aura. The gang boss demanded that the villagers hand over Donnie. Terrified by the sight of the cleaver, the villagers fell to their knees begging for mercy. The gang boss berated them as worthless, and his men indiscriminately shot them dead. He ordered his men to exterminate everyone in the village. In this dire moment, Yi and Donnie arrived. Donnie charged into the crowd and engaged them in combat. Despite facing dozens of bandits, not a scratch was left on him. Recognizing his prowess, the gang boss ordered his men to take Yi and lure Donnie into the forest. 
Donnie picked up a stick and fought his way out, creating a path soaked in blood. He knocked down an attacker. Freeing Yi, but someone shot at him, causing Yi to roll down the hill. Using a large tree as cover, Donnie agilely evaded gunfire. When the man was reloading, Donnie charged at him, but the man also wielded a throwing knife. Donnie was struck by the knife, but he pulled it out and hurled it back at the man. Yi was once again taken away, and Donnie grabbed a nearby bamboo pole to fend off the throwing knife then slung it back killing the man. Next, he encountered a man skilled in eagle claw technique. The man's martial arts were incredibly fast, causing Donnie to continuously retreat. Not only was the man's speed astonishing, but his power was also formidable, with his punches capable of breaking through anything. Like an eagle swooping down, the man attacked Donnie relentlessly. The ground was torn apart and Donnie took a hit. Knowing he couldn't match the man's strength head-on, Donnie decided to target his fingers. Finding an opportunity, Donnie attacked the man's fingers, causing his speed to decrease. It was Donnie's turn now. He unleashed a rapid series of punches followed by a flurry of kicks, forcing the man to retreat continuously. Eventually, Donnie beat the man to death with his bare fists. Donnie then found the gang boss, who referred to him as the third brother. It turned out that Donnie was the third member of the Seven Wolves gang. Donnie had killed his own brother to save the woman, shocking Yi who couldn't believe her lover was a killer. Donnie remembered his past and knelt before his former gang boss, apologizing. However, the gang boss beheaded Yi and charged at Donnie. Donnie blocked the attack with his hands, pushing the gang boss away. He then relentlessly attacked the gang boss with his fists, forcing him to defend with his arms. The two exchanged blows, enjoying the fight. Continuing, the two engage in a leg technique battle. Every attack from Donnie is countered by the gang boss. The gang boss delivers fierce knee strikes, and in the midst of their fight, they both fall off the cliff. Just as the gang boss was about to kill him, Donnie struck him in the groin, causing him intense pain. Donnie then incapacitated him, but chose not to kill him, instead blinding him by gouging out his eyes.